This is Matt for Into Boxing. Delighted to be joined by Linus Eudofia. Linus, last time we spoke, I think it was London. It was a press conference for the big fight, one you had at the weekend. Um, obviously, I know it didn't go your way, but talk to me. How are you feeling? Yeah, you know, I don't feel too bad. You know, I feel all right. I feel, I feel all good. I feel, I feel all good. You know, I had some time to relax, chill out, catch up with some mates, catch up with a lot of people, um, kind of get away from boxing for a little bit. And, um, you know, I finally got to watch my fight back a couple of days ago. Um, yeah, and, um, yeah, I feel good. I feel really good. I feel like at the time when you're, when you're, when you're doing it, when you're going through it, you don't really realise, you know, you're not thinking about, you know, your performance and that. And um, when I look back, yeah, when I look back, I still feel the same as I felt at the end of the fight. I felt like I'd won. I felt like I'd done enough. And um, I look back and I, my performance was really good. I felt like I announced myself a lot. Especially not on not just on a British stage, but just on that level as well. Like I really put my name in the hat for you know when you're talking about serious operators at this at this level at this weight, you know my name should be getting thrown in there. I appreciate that I didn't come away with the with the, with the result, but you know I still feel justified in saying I'm one of the top boys in the division. Yeah, hundred percent. It seemed like you came out really fast. You started stronger. And then obviously, it seemed like Denzel then almost, almost grew into the fight, or whether he just decided to do that. How do you, do you know when you look back at it now? How do you how do you see the fight? Did you think you won it by a couple of rounds? How do you how do you reflect on it? Do you think you nicked it? How do what do you what will you see when you look back at the result? Yeah, I I I, I ref, I'm reflecting on it in a sense of I, I think I had it by a couple of rounds at the least the least one round to me. Do you know what I mean? At the least. Um, and, and you know, I mean, that's, that's, that's being respectfully. I don't think, um, you know, what I mean, like, like I said before in all my interviews, I'm keeping the same energy. I don't think it would have been different. I, I don't think I, it would. I don't think anyone would have argued if it went to me, if it went to him, or if it was a draw. You know what I mean? I still feel like I, I still feel like I've done enough. Um, and you know, what I mean, I, I still feel like it was a good performance. Obviously, I'm gutted that uh, I didn't get the decision. You know, what I mean, it's 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 quite it's quite so destroyed when you work quite. You know, what I mean, quite very hard. And um, you've worked very hard. You put everything into it, you know, um, and you don't come away with a result. It, it's, you know, I mean, it hurts. But um, a massive congratulations to Denzel. You know, what I mean, and, um, do you know, what I mean, it was, it was, it was a good, it was a good show. It was a good fight. Uh, very entertaining for the crowd, and you know, what I mean, a million viewers, a million, a million viewers. So you can't, you know, what I mean, you can't really complain. I was going to say, I'm just coming on to that. Um, a million viewers, you know, boxing brought to the everyday person's home. And you got all that exposure off the back of it. And it was a cracking fight. People have been talking about they'd happily see that fight run back. Is that something that you look at and say, you know what, let's run it back? Or do you think that, that won't happen now? What, what's, your, what's your thoughts on that? Um, I, obviously, it makes it makes a lot of sense for me, for, for my side, to run it back straight away. It makes a lot of sense for me. Um, it might not make um, much sense for him to do it. And, you know, his side and his management might, you know what I mean, go against it, which is fair enough. Um, it might be one of those where, you know, you kind of leave it to marinate and then run it back at a later date when we're both at a, a, a high level. Do you know what I mean? Who knows? Who knows? Um, I personally happily run it back. It says, obviously, what do you think it says about boxing? Because obviously people put their undefeated records on the line. You were willing to jump straight in there. And this will be, be another example of, I think, where a loss doesn't define somebody's career. You've got in there and even though you've not got the decision, you've still come out of this sort of on a good side, haven't you? Because everyone's seen that you can operate at that level and that you'll be able to jump back in there of similar calibre or higher. Yeah, I think I think, I think, think to an extent a loss does define your career, uh, but not always for the uh, negative, not always negatively. Yeah. And um, like, yeah. you know, look, look, at, look at Denzel Bentley, I think, I think, a loss did, you know, his loss did define his career, but not negatively because look how look how much he learned from that last fight, and look how much he's um look how much he's actually improved. And um, I think you know this loss will probably be potentially be the best thing that's ever happened to me because I, I I learned more in that fight than I did in um I learned more in that one fight with Denzel than I did in my last seventeen. What did you learn? What specifically did you learn in that? Did you notice the the difference in levels? What what was specific that you took out from that? Oh, a massive difference in level, but I always knew about myself that when the levels get higher, I step up as well. So I always, I knew, I learned that I, can, I belong at this level. I'm a 12 round fighter. I, you know, what I mean, I can, I learned. Obviously, I, I've always known that what my skill set was, 
but about a level as well. I can change things up. I can do like I, I I've learned a lot of things about myself. I learned a lot of you know there was a lot there was a few times in that fight I got in trouble, and I was like you know what yeah you know I can get out of this. You know what I mean? I learned I can get out of this. I learned yeah. I'm very very resilient, very patient, um, and you know what I mean? I'm I'm very persistent. You know what I mean? You can't. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm I'm a fighter. I'm a fighter, and I'm a problem for anyone at this at this level. I'm a problem for anybody at this level. So um, I've learned a lot about myself, and do you know what I mean. Uh, I just, I just, I just want to go again. How was it doing the twelve rounds? How did you feel? Feel comfortable? All right, all right, all right. Comfortable, very comfortable. The kind of the rounds kind of just went by. Like I think I was like just, I just. It just, it just went by. I can't, I couldn't, I, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. I genuinely can't explain it. I, it was weird. I sat down, I remember I sat down in round one and then I blinked and it was round seven. I blinked and it was round nine. I blinked and it was round 12. I was like, well, what's happened? How, this, how have we just gone through the rounds? And you know, it, it's, you know what I mean? It's a massive testament to my fitness and my coach and, and, and you know, the training we've been doing this, it's a massive, massive testament. And you know what I mean? I'm, 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 I'm lucky where I am. I'm lucky I've got the, um, uh, coaching coaching team behind me to you know to kind of give us the kind of training to go all these rounds you know what I mean and I'm, uh, I'm very fortunate yeah I think yeah stable mate Brad Pauls he managed to get a, a victory in another great fight I think um, terrific card what did you make of his performance I know you two are buddies yeah no um, yeah you know what it was a good fight for him he, he needed he needed that kind of step up Ryan Kelly's a fucking hell of a fighter hell of a fighter man and you know exactly that was the kind of fight exactly Brad needed to be introduced to the this level. Do you know what I mean? He needed that. He, that was the type of fight he needed to. You know what I mean? To be introduced to this level. And you know he passed it. He done well. He's learned a lot. Again, I think he's one of them that he'll learn. He was, he's learned so much from that fight. You know what I mean? And um, I'm happy he come away with a win. You know what I mean? And someone had to. <laughs> What's um what's next for you then? Obviously, I know it's only fresh and you're probably having a bit of time off, a little bit of downtime, um, refresh your brain and stuff more than anything as well. So when's when's next? When do you want to get back out? Uh, I'd like to get back out as as you know to to an extent as soon as possible, kind of in the next two months or so, in the next in the next two to three months, something like that. But obviously, I need to sit down and um, you know, that's me talking as a fighter. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I just want to fight. Um, I need to sit down with my management. I need to sit down with my uh, promotional team, Wasserman and Channel Five and Groovy Boxing and my coach, and see and see what actually what options we actually have and um, see what routes we can go down. And um, you know, it's, it's one of the downsides about being the person that didn't come away to win. The option the option pool isn't the same as if you came away with the belt. So do you know what I mean? Like, there's not a lot. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I'm falling into that. I've, Overnight, I've kind of slipped into that pile of the who needs him club. So it's hard to get a, it's hard to get a big fight because what do you bring to the table for that fight? You know what I mean? I don't have the belt. Do you know what I mean? Like who is it? Uh, Anthony Fowler was calling out Ben Bentley. Kieran Conway is calling out Bentley. You know what I mean? All these are great fights because because of he has the he has the belt now. Before they, they didn't, no one said his name, but he has the belt now. Obviously, if I'd won it, that would have been me. These fights would have been here. Yeah, like, you know, everyone would have been biting my hand off for it. But now, I understand it is what it is. But you know, my management and my promotional team are great, and this is this is what this is this is what they do. So you know, they will 100 percent pull me down the right route. And you know, I'm, I'm a fighter. I'll fight and win the fights. If it was up to you, you'd be going to Liverpool, wouldn't you, on that card? <laughs> uh, there we go. There we go. I'll be in Liverpool. I'll be in Liverpool on that card. But. It is what it is. I understand how uh, physically physically demanding these camps are and these big 12-round fights, whether it's world level, British level, you know, the, the camps taking it out of you and it's time now to take a few weeks off and just kind of rest, stay away from um, stay away from boxing for a while, have a few meetings, sit down, look at a route, you know, plan away and then, you know, we'll go from there. What are you going to do in your downtime then? Got anywhere you're going? You got any trips booked? What are you going to do? Uh, I've got I've got a couple of trips booked. I'm going to go to Rhodes at some point. Uh, I'm going to get away from my birthday as well, uh, and just kind of chill out. Really, just chill out. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. But right now, right now, I'm actually on the way to meet my mate, my pal in a park. I'm going to play some football. I'm going to yeah. just chill out, play some football. Nothing crazy, uh, and then get some food probably. All right. Well, I won't I won't keep you from that. Um, 
just on to the football. I know we spoke about it off camera. What do you make of Luton's season? I know it's not maybe gone that one step too far, but you know, in terms of both clubs' eyes who played in that game, both overachievers um, this year. So talk me through it. I know it's not um, not the best thing, but it's a good season, wasn't it, from you boys? Yeah. It's been it's been it's been a it's been a bit of end to a really good season to be honest a really overachieved season and you know nothing about proud of the boys you know what I mean like we don't we don't have the best squad in a sense of talent we don't have the you know what I mean we don't have superstars in our squad we got journeyman we got Cameron Jerome we got Robert Snodgrass like we got yes. we got we got ex, we got journeyman but the thing is our manager and our style it brings out the best in their players and their players all play for each other the manager plays for the team and um, it's it's, it's it's been, it's been, it's, you know, I mean, it's been a club. It's been a massive testament to resilience and like just giving us the teamwork. And um, it's we, we've massively ever achieved. We've, we've gotten some great results, and to get into the playoffs, to be one goal away from Wembley, and then to go, in, you know, Wembley for a final to go into the Premier League. Who would, if you said that to me at the start of the season, I would have bitten your hand off. I would have laughed in your face and gone, "Yeah, stop dreaming." Yeah. But look where we are. Look at what we've done. You know I mean, we've we've mass we we we've, we've like announced our say ourselves in in on the stage. We've done done a lot, and I I can't wait for next season. You know, Watford have come down as well. That's always a big result. Um, and uh, you know, it's a derby coming up this this season. So next season, sorry. So uh, I I just you know what I mean, it's 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 a bit of a sweet end, but you just you know at this point you just kind of I'm just proud of the boys and just proud that they they you know what I mean they gave us a good season. Yeah, yeah, no. I- Completely agree with you. Well, look, if you are off to meet your mates, I won't keep you any longer. Um, Linus, it's been good catching up, good chatting. And um, we'll catch up again when you get another fight announced and go for it and that, yeah? Definitely, definitely. I'll speak to you soon, mate. Have a good one. Appreciate it. Catch you later. Yeah, take it easy.